Hello and welcome to installing WordPress on Bluehost. If you are watching this video, you are probably a part of the NSCT program and are required to set up WordPress for your portfolio as well as several other projects. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've navigated to www.bluehost.com and I'm going to click on Log In. Now I've gone ahead and cheated and in the background I have already logged in and frequently when you log in Bluehost will offer uh, different kinds of things for you some of them are free some of them are for a surcharge we're going to go ahead and learn how to do it ourselves so we're going to skip any additional offers here there are several things that we will do within our WordPress um, and within Bluehost Bluehost is our domain area and we can set up multiple instances or installations of WordPress. We can set up other software here as well. Some of these are free, some of these are for uh, a payment, but for our purposes we're going to set up WordPress which is hosted uh, for free under Bluehost. Now there's always multiple ways to get the same thing done. There are multiple times you might be directed to go to your cPanel to do different types of things and there are multiple choices here. But for our purposes under hosting and home today, under this section called website there is an option to install WordPress. I'm going to click on that one time and I'm going to go ahead and let it load up to the next screen. Once I get here, notice that they will install it for you, but you really do not need to buy anything extra. This is something that you will be more than able to do on your own. I'm going to click on install. Once I install this, there are a couple things that you super, super need to uh, pay attention to here. Once you are here, if you have actually multiple domain subdirectories, you might have choices here. I don't have that right now. However, as you get more sophisticated, you might drop down and you might be choosing other um, subdomains here. In our particular case, I'm going to give you a sample of installing to http colon slash slash msctramapo.org. Now, super, super important here. Notice over here there is a directory portion. If I wanted to install this installation or this instance of WordPress in a subdirectory, I would make sure that I type that subdirectory in here. If I'm installing WordPress for the very first time for my portfolio, I don't need to do this. Once again, if I'm installing for the first time, I don't need to do this, but all subsequent installations for any other project, I want that to be a separate WordPress from my portfolio and I must put it in the directory here. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and type in the phrase sample site because I want this to be an installation in a folder called sample site. If you're doing your portfolio for the very first time you would put nothing in here. I'm going to go ahead and click on check domain and as long as I don't have anything in that folder called sample site it should come right back to me and say uh, that it's ready to install. So I'm going to give that a second here while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a little uh, word processing document. I've got that here in my other window. I'm going to just have that here to the side. You can use Microsoft Word. You can use um, any of your favorite word um, texting kind of applications. You just need to jot down a couple of notes here. I'm going to click on show advanced options and I'm going to click on I have read the terms and conditions. Now it's going to give you an admin username which is in this case my Ramapo email address and it's going to give me a password. I will remember that the admin username is my Ramapo email address and just for the sake of security I've copied and pasted the password in here. Now just in case you are a newbie, let me do that one more time. I clicked and highlighted here. On my keyboard I pressed Control C on a Mac. I'm going to do uh, Command C and then I'm going to come over to my notepad. I'm going to do a Control V on a Windows platform or a Command V on a Mac platform. And that just helps me capture my password super quick. I'm going to go ahead and click on Install Now. There will be an opportunity for you to see your password later on. Not to worry, you will get a second chance on that if you didn't uh, capture it the first time. Um, once I start the install, 
it's going to go to my next screen and across the top I'm going to start to see a blue bar or excuse me a green bar showing my progress sometimes a little pop-up will happen that indicates that I have options to do other things while I'm waiting but in my particular example here that's not happening once this is completely done it usually turns a different color and then it usually allows me to view my credentials so I'm going to go ahead and let that finish up okay and we are back and you'll see that this is now turned a different color and I can now view credentials if I click on view credentials I am taken to a list. This is important to take a look at. This just shows you that you have installed it. These credentials are not here forever. They are only here for 12 hours. So it's important that you capture this information now, jot it down somewhere, and then go ahead and finish setting up the site. I'm going to click on View. And what I oftentimes will do is I will highlight all of this. And I, again, I will copy it by doing a Control C or a Command C, depending on my platform. I will come over to my uh, notebook area or my text area and I will do a command V or um, control V on the Windows platform to go ahead and just copy that. Um, I oftentimes keep a text file of all of this information on a secure area on my computer so that if I need to get back to it I uh, will remember where to go to get it, but I do tend to keep it all together. So for the moment I'm going to just move this outside of my view screen so I can continue. The next thing I need to do is go ahead and take a look at our sample site, noticing that there's a different web address to log into the management of the site as well as a different address for the site itself. I'm going to go ahead and click into the sample site here and it is now posted as a sample site. I'm going to um, stop the tutorial here. I'm going to pop back to the screen that I was just on. You do want to keep this screen open and move on to the next tutorial, which is how to set up your WordPress for the very first time. See you in a bit.